Hey everyone, we are in the Smoky Mountains this weekend, deeper into the Smoky Mountains than usual. Um, we are going to be looking for some unusual places. Uh, one of the first places we're going to check out, and the one I wanted to make this video about, is the Ferry House at the Twin Creeks Science Center. Um, this is one that has gotten a lot of misinformation online. Uh, people have difficulty finding it. Uh, most of the descriptions say you have to hike the Twin Creeks Trail. Uh, I don't believe you do. Um, the ferry house is halfway on the trail, but there's a science center there that I believe, and a few people have said, all well, those contradicting statements online, you can park at that point and uh, actually locate the ferry house um, in the, on the back end of the property behind a fence. I'm going to show you how to get there. I'm going to show you the map. And uh, we're going to drive there and I'm going to show you exactly where to go, where to look on the property and how to get to the ferry house so that next time you're in the area, you can check it out yourself. So let's get going. center that I wanted to go to which most people on all trails were correct it is marked off as business only there were some people who said that the, the Rangers will let you go there just to see the ferry house um, the sign at the road literally said business only so I didn't feel comfortable going in there the next parking lot is Ogle Place which is probably I don't know if it's equidistant from the Science Center but it looked closer to me and of course it was packed uh, around noon on a Saturday. So I'm gonna go around this loop and then we'll either check Oval Place again or go to the other end and park at the other parking area at the Twin Creeks Trailhead. And uh, we'll do the, we'll just go ahead and do the hike. It's a short one anyway and it's there's no elevation really. Uh, and then get to uh, check out the ferry house at the Science Center, at the Resource Center. So let's look at some colors for now. All right, we lucked out, got a spot at Oval Place. So we're gonna do like half the trail and then half the trail back. We're not gonna do the loop at the end, so it's probably a three mile walk, um, but let's get going. So beautiful this time of year. So we uh, met some folks who had just come out and they had done the loop over here on the uh, Ogle parking end. And when you get to the part of the trail that goes toward the resource center, unfortunately they have a sign that says the trail is still closed due to aggressive bear activity. So we can't go from this end, I assume they've shut down the other end as well. Uh, so for the sake of you all and not giving up 
going to go into where the sign says business only and I'm going to ask the folks at the resource center if they'll let us just check out the ferry house. We'll see if the claims on all trails is true. Um, and if not, then we'll have to move on and give up on the ferry house, unfortunately. Never know when the trail is going to be closed or, <laughs> you know, don't want to mess with any of the bear. You don't want to mess with bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> So it's not no public allowed, it's no public restrooms. So that sign looks like <laughs> totally is okay. It's it's looks like a public sign, so we're gonna go ask them if it's okay if we just poke around and look at the buildings and um, see the fairgrounds. Yeah, I don't know that it's, it feels like it's private property, but it, oh, it's the science center. It's, no, I mean, this is where they do research, basically. And so, I really think, see this trail right here? This trail right here is, goes to the ferry house. Yeah, that looks like an office building. This right here is the trail. So this building right here, when you park in the par one parking spot over there, there's this building and there's a trail. Right now they have a white marker on it. I believe this is the trail that's right near the fence. We're gonna check it out until someone actually tells us we're not supposed to be here, so. This trail, see it goes along the fence. I'm pretty sure, number one, it's pretty heavily used. Number two, there's, there is a parking spot there. The only thing that made me a little nervous is it says business only. Um, they do research here, I believe. This whole trail is marked off for aggressive bear activity. So this is like halfway on the trail. But it's supposed to be just up the hill here. I actually see it. Yep, it's right up there, Jen. So see, we're right from the back line of this property of this fence. You can see the ferry house. And I'll show you what that looks like. This time you have this fewer trees so you can see it halfway up the hill over there. Not very far at all from the fence line. I think probably the people who have said you can, that the rangers will allow you to come here to see, to see the ferry house, probably true. And I almost don't want to tell people where it is because it's going to be packed with a ton of people and no parking here either probably, but said I would share this with the public. So here it is, the ferry house. <laughs>
So there you have it, the fairy house, this, the hard to find secretive fairy house. There's so many people searching on Google for how to find this place. Now you have it. It's halfway on this Twin Creeks Trail, the Science Center. They do have a sign that says business only, but I suppose going to the fairy house is, is considered business here, legitimate business. So till they kick us out, this is how you do it. You drive in there, keep going past the initial building on the left, uh, go to the parking area that's almost at the end of this road, past the picnic pavilion, park on the left. You just have to walk down to the, the building the first building where all of the uh, the big sign is this says no public restrooms and walk to the left side of that dark brown wooden building the first one that you come to uh, and you'll see the the fence with the greenhouses just walk along the left side of that fenced in area actually i know this is legit because they have trail counters with the official sticker on it which means this is one of the legitimate trails that you can visit and they keep track of how many people so as far as I can tell this is totally legit to come and visit come and hike the 0.10 if that mile long trail and, and check out this really cool tourist attraction um, it's a beautiful just the stonework right above the the kind of curved stonework they have with some look like decorative stone kind of even at the very top um, and then the little kind of fountain inside. It's very clean. It's not disgusting like some places like that I've seen in the middle of the forest. So I have a feeling people who work here probably keep it clean. The fairies are very tidy creatures. The fairies are very tidy creatures. <laughs> so that'll do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you come and check out this very cool site. And we'll see you next time.